Main and Broad Street in Lidditz were blocked off and crowds gathered for the 12th annual Fire and Ice Festival in Lidditz. News 11's Holly Harris spent the evening in Springs Park and has the very latest on the weekend's festivities. Hi, John. Well, things have officially kicked off here at Lidditz Springs Park. Sculptors are working their magic. There's live music and a huge crowd to go along with it, and it's only night one. I caught up with some of the very people that make this event so special every single year. Lidditz is very community, and that's really where your heart and your soul is, and, and you really see people come out young and old. It didn't matter who you were or where you come from. The street was packed with thousands of people, all to enjoy the sights and sounds of this year's Fire and Ice Festival at Springs Park in Lidditz. It's different than going to like a bar or to church. Um, this is, you're out, you're in the street, you smell the fire, you hear the chainsaws going, and it just puts you in an automatic good mood. Don Rissmiller has been organizing the event for years. What was once meant to draw crowds to retail shops during the winter months has turned into something much bigger. It's not really just about getting people to shop anymore. It's about people coming together. And come together they did, all to catch a glimpse of these guys showcase their special skill. It's a great event to come to. I mean, we just really like coming out here. Um, the crowd is really nice. I mean, everybody's just great out here. I mean, it, it's a really great community. Jared McAllister of DiMartino Ice grew up sculpting and says the festival is one day out of the year that's much different than the rest. It's sort of normal. I guess it's more fun than carving by myself, which is what I normally do every day, so it makes it a little bit more entertaining. As Jared drew crowds to the ice, not far away was Renee Farlow of Ephrata warming up by the fire pits. We don't really get to come down too often, and so it's neat to come in and sample the food. We can't wait to get to the food truck soon. <laughs> Renee and her daughter have been visiting for years as a fun night out together, and in trying times, Dawn says there's simply nothing like it. All the political stuff, all of the all the nonsense that's going on in the world, none of it matters tonight because tonight's magic. Tonight's fun, and tonight you can't help but smile. Tomorrow's chili cook-off will be a huge hit along with some warmer temperatures. The Fire and Ice Festival will be in full swing through Sunday. In Lidditz, Holly Harrer, News 11.